If you're looking for a mid-size SUV, Subaru has two options to choose from. The three-row Ascent is their traditional entry in this market, but they also make the Outback, a tall wagon that comes within five inches of the Ascent's length. We're going to look at the safety performance of these two vehicles to determine which one is the better option. We'll be using results from two of the most demanding crash tests to make this assessment, the updated side impact and moderate overlap crash tests, both conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. First up is the updated side impact test, where the vehicle is struck by a 4,200 pound barrier at 37 miles per hour. Right off the bat, the Ascent has more intrusion into the cabin compared to the Outback. This is apparent when looking at the amount of B-pillar deformation. Now, let's examine the driver injury risks. Both vehicles have low head injury readings. The Ascent also has low torso injury values, but the Outback has moderate ones. Both vehicles have moderate pelvis injury readings, although the Outbacks are slightly higher. Next up are the rear seat passenger injury risks. Both models have low head injury values. The Ascent maintains low torso injury readings, while the Outback has moderate ones. Both vehicles show low pelvis injury risks, but the Ascents are significantly lower. Overall, this test concludes that the Outback has slightly better structural performance, while the Ascent has slightly lower injury readings. It's close to a draw, with both Subaru models score the highest rating of good in this test. Next up is the updated moderate overlap crash test, which assesses rear seat safety in a frontal collision. The Ascent exhibited fairly well-controlled dummy movement. The only issue is that the dummy's head approached the front seat too closely. The Outback also had this issue, but it's the least of its concerns. This dummy also submarined under the lap belt. Even more concerning, the dummy's head precariously moved outside the path of the side curtain airbag. This is extremely unsafe because it leaves the head vulnerable to impacts. The Outback recorded low head and neck injury readings, whereas the Ascent had moderate levels. Conversely, the Ascent had slightly lower chest readings, Overall, the Ascent earns the second highest rating of acceptable and is the clear winner in this test, thanks to its better controlled dummy movement. The Ascent also doesn't have the issue with the head moving outside the path of the curtain airbag. The Outback receives the second lowest rating of marginal. In summary, both vehicles have similar performance in the side impact test. However, the Ascent performs noticeably better in the moderate overlap one. Based on the results from these two evaluations, the Ascent is the overall safer option. If you found this interesting, check out this video that explores how automakers are making improvements to rear seat safety. Thanks for watching.